Hello everyone. Today we're going to go through the MedSuite application. We're going to go ahead and open the app and you're going to be able to see a list of all the available visits on this main screen. These are visits that are available to you through all the agencies that you're connected with. You'll be able to see basic information. So for example, this top case, you'll be able to see New York, Brooklyn, Bedford, Stuyvesant. On the side, you'll see initials, SJ. Those are the those are the initials of the patient. And as you scroll through, you'll be able to see different visits. So for example, you'll be able to see a flexible visit, which lets you select the times or the days, or you'll see a single visit, which is basically just a one day visit that needs replacement. You'll be able to see if you've viewed this case in the past or if it's a new case. And at the top, you'll see a map, which allows you to get a different view of the cases that are available for you and we can go back to the list visit. Now on this, on this top visit is a permanent visit. You can click on it and see more details. So on the top, you'll be able to see a map. You can click on the car and get 11 minutes. And on the tr public transportation, it'll take you 16 minutes. As you scroll through so you can see more information. So it's a permanent visit. It's 2.1 miles away. It starts June 1st and goes till July 31st. And it's seven hours, five days a week, and a full breakdown. So it's Monday through Friday, and it's nine to four on each day. General notes, so the coordinators will leave basic information. For example, no smoking, no pets, nice lady. You'll be able to open with using another map to show directions on how to get to the patient's home. Under that, you'll see agency details, which agency it came from, the coordinator in charge. You can go ahead and chat with the agency. And for example, send a message that says, how old is the patient? Once the coordinator sees the message, they'll be able to respond back to you. And you can continue to have communication this way. So now once I see the answer, let's say I want to take this case. Yes, thank you. I will go back. And I will go ahead and on the bottom, you'll see a button that says request this visit. I'll click on request this visit. It's gonna say, are you sure you wanna request this visit? I'm gonna say yes. And now you've successfully requested. So now I can go back and I could see that now that label has now changed from new to requested. Once the coordinator sees that request, they'll be able to assign it to me, which just happened. You'll get a notification that says you were assigned to a visit. I can go ahead into my schedule, and now I could see the full information on this patient. So I'll see the first name, the last name, the patient's phone number, the address, and list of all the visits. And you can continue to chat back and forth with the coordinator. On the top of the map, you'll see a little badge icon for messaging. And if you can click that, so you can continue having the same communication as you did before. And that's how you select the case.